The Jewish celebration of Passover begins on Monday. The holiday, of course, marks the Jews' exodus from slavery in ancient Egypt. CBS 2's Weijia Zhang went to New Rochelle, where young people are being taught about the holiday's traditions. The holiday called Passover. Passover, yes, I'm so excited. Three-year-olds at Bethel School in New Rochelle. Having Seder dinner early, a feast that marks the beginning of the Jewish holiday of Passover, which officially starts on Monday. It commemorates the liberation of the Jewish people from hundreds of years of slavery in Egypt. These kids are still too young to understand the meaning of Passover, but they are learning through their senses. So they're singing and they're eating, and it's clear they understand this is a very special holiday. Because we get to spend with families. Seder customs include partaking in a plate of symbolic foods. Dip and celery in salt water is my, is my favorite part of Pesach. Greens dipped in salt water, they mix themselves to represent the tear shed when Jews were enslaved. And we drink four cups of grape juice. For adults, four sips of wine. Yeah, but we can't eat any hummus. Hummets, bread or bread products, are not allowed during Passover, replaced with matzah. So something gets hidden during Seder dinner. Afi Komen, a special piece of matzah at the Seder, is hidden in a pouch. Then the kids look for it. You let me find the matzah, sometimes I get to have a treat. For teachers, the treat is watching a fun time turn into a love for their heritage. In New Rochelle, Weijia Jang, CBS 2 News.